This video will demonstrate how to use the Windows 7 snipping tool to create screenshots. Well first, if you've seen my tip sheets before, you've seen off on the right hand side how there are screenshots that help uh, demonstrate and show what's being um, explained in the step-by-step -step instructions. Well if you ever need to create one of those for your students, um, it sometimes can be nice to create a screenshot, but just of a specific area. So I'm going to demonstrate how to do that with the Windows 7 um, snipping tool. Uh, first of all, a lot of people don't know that this exists within the operating system, so I'm going to show you where to find it. First of all, on the bottom left-hand corner, you're going to go down to the Windows 7 button and click that, and you may see the snipping tool listed in the program menu. If you don't see it listed there, just do a search in the search box. So I could just do a search here for snipping tool, and then under programs, just click snipping tool. Your screen's going to kind of turn white, and you'll see this little uh, window here saying to drag the cursor around the area you want to capture. So I'll just click and drag and kind of capture this selected area. So again, you can see it only, it only captured just the area that I um, drew the box around. Um, next thing is if you think that you, this is going to be a program that you'll use quite often, down on the taskbar, you'll see the icon here for the snipping tool. If you right click on that and choose pin this program to taskbar, it'll leave that icon down here and anytime you need to use the program again you can just simply click on that and it'll open up the program instead of having to go through the start menu. Alright, well once I have this screen um, clipping tool, a couple other things that I can do is that with the pen tool I can choose different color pens and also customize the pen to different sizes. Um, that allows me to do things like draw arrows of where I would want students to click or maybe highlight a certain area and then also I have an eraser tool so that I can erase any of those those items as well. Well once I have my screenshot the way I want it I can click the save tool and then I can save it as a PNG which is a good file type for pictures otherwise a GIF or JPEG and then I'll just click save wherever I want to save it the other option I have is just to copy the image. It'll copy it to the clipboard and then I can paste it inside PowerPoint or my Word document, whatever it is that I want to use. This video demonstrated how to use the Windows 7 snipping tool.